So we'll go ahead and, and get started because we have an agenda and uh, a lot of things to get through and a lot of people to congratulate tonight. Um, it's unfortunate that we're, we're uh, you know, having to do our awards this way, but at least uh, we get to do something. And um, uh, we definitely want to congratulate all the people who have done, uh, gone above and beyond this year and done some great things. So um, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, but again, thank you so much for coming and taking the time to to, uh, to be here tonight. Uh, at the end of our live uh, portion of our awards, we're going to be um, premiering two videos. Uh, well, uh, I'm actually going to premiere three videos. Um, the first one we're going to watch in just a second um, together, and it's only uh, a minute or two. Um, and then we're going to be premiering our virtual orchestra, which was um, put together uh, <laughs> Over the last few days, uh, many, many, many hours um, of uh, production, but also featuring um, a whole bunch of our students. So um, it's it's great that uh, we're going to be able to premiere that when we're done. Followed uh, that will be followed by the senior speeches, uh, uh, and the senior speeches video will um, go on right after um, uh, right after the uh, um, Millennium video. So. Um, is there were awards night. Um, I first want to uh, start by playing the national anthem, and we had um, a small group of students uh, play the national anthem uh, and record it and send it in to me. Um, and this will be played at, at the graduation ceremonies that will be taking place um, on uh, Saturday morning, uh, the virtual graduation, the, the drive-in one that we're going to be doing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and play this video for you right now. Um, so thank you to uh, uh, Vivia and um, uh, all everybody who who played on that national anthem, Charles C and Ava and uh, Sayan and um, I'm missing someone. Sorry. Um, Aaron. Oh, and um, yeah, Aaron. Thank you. So, um, but thank you guys for, for putting that together, and it was uh, really nice. And it'll, like I said, it'll be played at the uh, graduation ceremony. I'd like to first thank our uh, our Alpharetta High School Orchestra Association Executive Board. Um, they are uh, some amazing people who do so much for us uh, in in terms of organizing events and providing a. Uh, uh, meals and uh, goodies and treats and just organizing all the different things that need to be organized, taking care of all the, the finances. So I'd like to um, uh, recognize our executive board um, and you can please stand <laughs> at home. I'm just kidding about that. You don't have to stand up. But um, so our co-presidents are Edis Wen and Hong Yin, our, our secretary who has done an amazing job of just keeping everybody organized this year. We cannot thank her enough, Ms. Tamara Baker, and our treasurers who uh, do a ton, a ton, a ton of work. Um, just 
handling all the the crazy money stuff that we have to do with as far as meal payments and um, all state payments and things like that. Uh, Aaron Barrett and Jackie Best, thank you guys so much for um, all that you've done this year. Our travel chair, uh, we did not travel this year, but we were thinking about it and we had uh, the opportunity to uh, work with Ms. Hopper. Thank you, Fidel, for all your work. Um, and uh, we will continue that quest hopefully in the future. Um, our fundraising chairs, uh, Shavri Shabra and uh, Jennifer Taylor, thank you guys for all your work in uh, getting stuff ready for fundraisers in the, um, uh, the, the concert cafe and all that we've done. And then our publicity chair, uh, Jenny Adeshandi, um, done some great things just getting the word out and um, just helping other organize all kinds of events. And she's been on our board for a long time. Um, and uh, we're going to miss her next year. Um, we're also uh, losing Miss uh, Miss Best, and um, oh, and 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 um, Sunny Day. So our hospitality chairs who have done like the most amazing work, um, providing meals that that no other orchestra and no other people could fathom. Um, just amazing things that they've done, and just beyond. Uh, what everyone's expectations are. Uh, so thank you, Miss You and Miss Day. Uh, we really appreciate um, all that you've done and just going above and beyond. I think uh, our students just don't even realize how special uh, they are. So uh, they are how special they have it. So um, yeah, it's 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 amazing what you've all done, and uh, I'm very very appreciative. Um, I know it takes a lot of your time. And um, without your help, I don't think I would be able to even be able to do my job 100%. So you, you go above and beyond, and, and it is greatly appreciated by myself and the students. Uh, all right. Besides our parents, we also have a great group of student leaders who have done um, just amazing work in um, – let me let someone in – amazing work in um, – just organizing LGPE and student events and socials and uh, keeping me on the ball. They're like, Dr. Logs, we got to do this. I'm like, oh yeah, we do have to do that. So uh, just uh, awesome leadership. Um, and all these folks that are on this team are um, dynamite people. And I know are going to be uh, successful no matter what they, what they choose to do. Um, so I'll go ahead and, and announce um, first off, our co-managers, Ashley Day and Nat uh, Natalie Jose Maria, you guys, uh, I can't even tell you um, how much I appreciate all that you've done and um, have continued to do it even through teleschool and just helping organize uh, activities and um, all kinds of great things. So you guys are awesome um, and definitely will miss you both uh, next year a lot. Student services, we have KCZ and Joseph Yu. Um, uh, again, uh, tons of great work going on, and you know they're they're helping with all kinds of all kinds of great things. And uh, I just can't say enough. Um, operations, we've had a great operations scene this year, coming in before school every day, um, working at concerts to set up equipment and tear down and make sure that things are in order. Um, and uh, Devin Baker. Matthew Lynn and Pollen uh, Bardwaj, thank you guys for um, your muscles and your dedication to coming in and, and taking care of all that stuff. I know it's not always the most fun uh, job, but we do appreciate it. And uh, it's, you know, well, everybody, yeah, everybody has muscles. <laughs> Everybody's making fun of it now on the, uh, on the chat, I see. Um, but uh, thank you guys for your work in that. Uh, our next group. Uh, student leadership team in technology, uh, Ava Pikaday and Lindsay Matchlight. Uh, Matchlight, sorry. Uh, great job. Thank you guys for all your Instagram posts and um, just keeping people on the ball. Uh, and then finally, and not last, but definitely not least, our music librarians. Um, holy cow. Uh, they've done a lot. And uh, it's, it's always one of those things. It's like, you know, uh, just taking class time and uh, before school, after school, whenever they need to do it, they, they're there to to make sure that everybody has what they need. So uh, Charles C. Wimple, uh, Tessa Forzese, um, Elijah Hopper, Elisa Karina, and uh, Harish Kanthi, and um, Manya Ravikrishnan. Guys, uh, thank you so much for your work in, in, 
in with the librarians. Did I did not say Charles C? Oh, don't leave Charles C. I see. I'm reading these little things as they come up, I'm trying to at least. Let's see. Um, open this up. But thank you guys, student leadership. Um, this was uh, the leadership team was started by Mr. Fisher before I got here, and um, I was a little bit a little bit nervous once the the group of uh, Mr. Fisherites uh, left uh, and left people who had not been with Mr. Fisher before. Um, but uh, this year was the first kind of the first year without um, those those people, and I can't say I can't tell you I'm super proud of our leadership team and you guys for doing what you do. It's, it's awesome. It's awesome. And uh, you've really uh, picked up the reins and have been able to do so many great things. So thank you guys, student leaders. You're the best. Okay. Um, you can clap at home. If you want to. Yeah. I see people, uh, only a few people have their cameras on. There you go. There you go. Um, all right, so we're going to go on to GMEA Allstate. Uh, this is one of the top honors because uh, Allstate Orchestra has some very stiff competition, uh, particularly if you're a violin player and a cello player. Holy cow, there are like a billion people that audition, uh, and uh, a very select group get in. I was proud to say that we had 15 um, Allstaters this year, and um, that is represents about 10% of our uh of our student population, which uh, is is pretty amazing, and um, it's not every school that has that that kind of talent. So um, I don't take a lot of credit for Allstate, but I do want to thank the students who made Allstate for their work, and particularly uh, those private teachers out there. Um, it, it's uh, the work that you do with our students is remarkable, and they, they definitely wouldn't be able to to accomplish such a, such a great feat without you guys and uh, the private teachers. So I'll go ahead and let's announce our Allstate uh, members this year. Uh, we had Aaron Cho made first violin, Samay Desai made second violin, Jenny Hayo second violin, and uh, Austin Huang uh, viola, Samuel Lin on bass, Eileen Liu first violin, Vivia Lung second violin, Soyeon Park second violin, uh, Ava Paikade viola, Sarang Pujari, Violin 1, Eric Sun, Violin 2, KCZ, Viola, JDU, Cello, Joseph Yu, Viola, and William Zhang on Violin. And I know we have some seniors. I, I, I have to say there's probably quite a couple seniors here that have made Allstate all four years. Um, so congrats to those. I know that it's um, – there's another person coming in. Um. I know that uh, um, I think with Jenny, and if I'm not mistaken, um, Sarong and maybe Eileen have made it all four years. I'm not hope I'm not missing anybody, but that's an amazing, um, an amazing uh, feat, you guys, to be able to uh, do that for four years straight, and and making it in your freshman year is just particularly difficult. So. Uh, congrats to those people making all state this year. We're going to continue that and uh, see if we can't get uh, even more people auditioning and and uh, making that next year. On to our LGPE we hosted this year, which was a ton of work as the students know, and especially our leadership. But all the students, um, majority of students, I should say, pitched in and did uh, their share in uh, working and um, doing all that stuff that. Uh, that was required of them, setting up stage for each group, being runners, getting yelled at by other directors. You know, there's all those things that happen. But um, uh, I appreciate the work that went into uh, LGPE. Um, obviously, it's, it's a big undertaking. And um, thank you to the board for uh, being so willing and uh, wanting to fundraise. And we just weren't allowed to. But um, I know that it was a big uh, snafu. And uh, I just appreciate your your caringness and willing to uh, try to make something happen for our students. Um, LGPE was a huge success this year, not only because we hosted, but we also did some amazing performing. And in the four years that I have been here, um, the, all five, well, four or now five orchestras have never received straight superiors. But I'm proud to announce 
as you probably already remember, that all five of our orchestras received straight superiors. And that even includes the sight reading aspect, which to me is the most challenging and uh, the most important part of LGPE. So congrats, you guys, um, on uh, making straight superiors. All the orchestras, uh, it's just, it's awesome. And um, hopefully we can continue that. Obviously, that is a feat that may not happen every year. But um, I'm very proud to say that we've done that. And uh, we had a really, really great experience. I played a joke on Miss Stoffel. I don't know if you know Miss Stoffel from theater. But um, the other day, we were well, yesterday, we were putting together our dates for next year's calendar on the, in, on the stage. And uh, it, it was a major um uh, a major bad thing for Miss Doffel that we were doing at LGPE because it falls right in the middle of her uh, musical. And uh, so I had put on, I sent an email out with the dates that I had requested. And I put, we're hosting LGPE again. And uh, she got so mad. And then I, I like pranked her a little bit. So anyways, it was funny. Um, but no, we won't be hosting for a while, but uh, we'll find out where it is very soon. And we'll keep you guys posted, but congrats again, straight superiors. Uh, Awesome, awesome, awesome. We had a, a couple students who have applied for a thing called the Fine Arts Diploma Seal. And the Fine Arts Diploma Seal is a special stamp seal on your diploma that says that you have completed a, a certain number of fine arts requirements. It does require to uh, for students to have to um, take not just not just orchestra, but in other music class and then do some community service events as well. So uh, we had, uh, I, th I hope I'm not missing anybody, but we have four people um, uh, earn the Fine Art Diploma Seal. And those four people are Joy Best, Natalie Jose Maria, Tessa Forzesi, and Charles C. Wimple. So congrats to those people earning Fine Art Diploma Seals. Um, it's a cool thing. It's just a little extra honor and a way that the school district is recognizing those who have uh, gone above and beyond in the area of fine arts. Next, we have IB Music. And IB Music um, is something that was new last year um, and is kind of a uh, all-encompassing um, music course. And the way that we designed it at Alpharetta, which is unlike a lot of schools, uh, we designed it so that students could stay in band, choir, orchestra, all and and not have to um, miss anything if they're doing IB music. And so uh, a lot of other schools have IB music class as a separate class, and then students have to take another class for their performance ensemble. And uh, we just valued uh, band, choir, and orchestra so much that we decided not to do that. So um, we have integrated it it within um, our orchestra band and choir. And um, these students have met during anchor time all year to listen to lectures on history and music theory and um, all doing all this writing that they have to do. The great thing is that they are eligible to earn the extra the seven points, the weighted grade for uh, orchestra now. So it's a it's a definitely a good thing. Uh, we had several students start this year and I want to recognize them. They did an awesome job. Um, Aaron Cho and, uh, sure, I swear, Raj, it autocorrects is sure, Raj, yeah, but sure, S sure, my sore, Siraj, my sore, uh, Sion Park, uh, Brian Sean and Joseph Yu. So congrats to those folks who are, uh, have done first year completion. Uh, next year, they're going to be, uh, doing some, uh, heavier work in, um, some score study and all that kind of stuff. Our second year folks, I wanted to say thank you to our second year IB folks, because last year we were thrown this IB thing and said, here's how you do it. And IB has um, requirements for testing and their assignments and things, but there's no curriculum. So the curriculum is all up to us. And Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Levesque and I are already busy. And then we had to kind of come up with a curriculum for um, IB music. So. Uh, there's there were a lot of learning curves, uh, particularly this year, uh, in terms of their writing and having to submit performances and things like that. So um, hopefully it'll be easier. But I want to thank these people for being our IB Music guinea pigs and successfully completing second year IB Music. It's Joy Best and Pollen Bardwaj, Ashley Day, uh, Anna Anna Shandy, uh, Matthew Lynn, Eileen Liu, Vivia Lung. Charles C. Wimple and KCZ. So congrats guys on doing that. Hopefully that helped your GPA too. 
Um, if you're a freshman or a sophomore and you're interested in, in doing that, you can sign up during your junior year and it's a full two year program. A full two year program. So check it out. IB Music. It's uh, really, really uh, interesting. And like I said, a kind of a culminating uh, experience. You learn theory and history and all kinds of good stuff in there. I had beautiful slides up. You know, all these slides. All right, with your names on them. Um, so uh, every year we do, uh, we, we collect points uh, on a merit sheet uh, for different things that you've done in orchestra. So if you've been in orchestra, you get points. If you, I know that was a big fail. Um, it's my first time doing a virtual award, so, you know. Um, but you earn points for being in orchestra, doing extra things, service events, whatnot, whatnot. And uh, it takes so many points to get to, to, to earn a varsity letter. And a lot of students will do that after their first or second year. Some students who are kind of go-getters might do it after, earn it after the first year. But this year, we had to collect the uh, merit sheets virtually, and not everybody filled it out. So, um, yeah, so uh, we are not sure what uh, everybody has done and what needs to be done. Um, oh, hold on a second. Okay. Let's see. There we go. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm distracted. Okay, so the varsity letters. We have, uh, and this might not be everybody, um, and we may have messed it up a little bit because we're just not sure who uh, filled out the sheets and who didn't, and old sheets and new sheets and all that stuff. So uh, it got a little bit messed up. But the people that did fill out the form and have earned their varsity letter this year is um, Suds Reddy and Rahul Krishnan, um, Audrey Wynn, Samay Desai and Joy Best. So congrats to those people who have earned their letters. I think Joy had earned a letter, to be honest with you. But um, again, we're, we're a little bit off and off kilter on the, uh, the whole awards uh, and varsity letters thing right now. So um, once you earn your letter, you earn more points to earn a bar. It's a gold bar that goes on the varsity letter. I actually have the letter here. I don't know if you can see it in the little window. Can you see my little window down here? Okay, cool. So this is what the letter looks like. And then you earn a little gold bar that goes on there and then you earn a star. So the next step is the bar. Um, and the gold bars uh, were earned this year by Harish Kanthi, Dylan Nanji, Michelle Bake, Tessa Forzesi, Elijah Hopper, Henry Hopper, Matthew Lynn, um, Avia Menchada, Daniel Wilson, Ashley Day, uh, Eileen Liu, Vivia Lung, Ava Paikaday, Soyan Park, and Sarang Pujari. So congrats to the people earning bars. They do um, a lot of good things. And um, the next level uh, is you earn a bar and a star. So um, here are the people that earn those. Um, Hajin Kim, Natalie Jose Maria, Samuel Lin, Aaron Cho, Jenny Hayo, Violet Newhart, Charles C. Wimple, Casey Z, and Joseph Hughes. Congrats to the people earning uh, the barn star. Uh, if... Uh, if you are a senior, I'm going to have to figure out a way to get that to you because I don't have all the bars and stars. Um, but uh, if you're earning a letter uh, or if you're returning next year, then I'll ha be happy to provide those to you guys. So, um, all right. So here comes my special awards. And um, the, these are chosen uh, by me um, just based on things that I've seen um, over the years. And so I'm going to uh, take off my uh, screen, oh no, I'll leave my screen on. Um, so the first one I have is a high merit awards. And um, this is actually the top award um, that I give out. And um, I, I give one merit award, high merit award per grade. So ninth, 10th, 11th, and 12th. Um, this year's freshman um, high merit award goes to a person who has done a ton of, ton of great work. Um, doesn't say a lot, but gets gets the job done every time and does it well and is a go-getter in terms of um, just auditioning for things and asking good questions. But he's pretty no-nonsense, pretty no-nonsense. Someone in here. And um, this year's uh, Freshman High Merit Award Director's Choice goes to Eric Sun. And Eric, uh, this, this is a... Uh, you get a, a an actual plaque um, with the orchestra logo on it. And so this is a, a big award. So congrats to Eric um, for getting that award. Um, done done some wonderful work this year. Our, 
our sophomore um, uh, merit, director's merit uh, award, high merit award goes to a person who uh, has also done some a great work. Uh, he he worked very hard. I said he, so you know it's a he. He worked very hard um, on his all state audition and um, is always just working his hardest. And he's always uh, just super friendly and, um, you know, just a genuine caring person. Um, and this person made all state this year. Um, this sophomore award goes to Samuel Lynn. So uh, let me pull out, where's my screen? There it is, Samuel Lynn. So congrats, Samuel. Um, that was that's, you've done some really awesome work. So keep keep it going, keep it going. All right, our our junior um, high merit award goes to a person who has um, just grown a lot, but also um, cares a lot about what they do in class. And um, okay, keep let, having to let people in all the time. Um, cares a lot what they do in class. Um, and has shown uh, a tremendous growth in leadership. Um, this person uh, did some really great leadership in Symphonia this year. And so this year's, um, uh, and overcame, you know, some obstacles and some barriers of just, you know, uh, uh, being more aggressive and, and uh, going for it. This year's junior goes to Victoria Lee. So congrats, Victoria. Um, very proud of you and all that you've done. And uh, Victoria uh, made chamber this year. So that's pretty cool. Uh, last uh, of these high merit awards um, is a person who has just done amazing stuff for four years. Um, I'm not, I, I might be mistaken, but I think she may have actually won this award four years in a row. Um, just a dynamite uh, player, dynamite person, super duper smart. And, um, Holy cow, uh, just a uh, someone who always goes above and beyond. And uh, you'll see that when you watch our video today as well. Um, but uh, probably in all of my years teaching runs the best student run sectional I've ever seen. And that is this award goes to Casey Z. So congrats, Casey. Um, did awesome job. So great job. And um, thank you for all your work. We're going to miss you. All right, so those are the Director's Choice Awards. And I did bring, um, hold on. I did bring my, my box of Kleenex because I'm gonna need those. Um, it's not the same, but I'm still like getting that way. So anyways, um, let's see. Okay, so our next group of awards, um, oh, I gotta show Casey. Um, our next group of awards are uh, the my director's special awards, um, most improved, the M I call the impact award, and we'll talk about those as we go through the Spree de Corps and the service award. So I'm going to go through those now. I don't want to uh, run out of time. I want to make sure we have enough time. Um, we have a premiere set at 730 uh, to start and followed by the seniors. So I want to uh, make sure I don't miss that. So here's what I did. Um, so um, I'm going to go through these. Can you still see my screen? Can you see the award that's up here? Okay, thumbs up. Um, I did this uh, by class, but this first award is a most improved award for concert orchestra. Um, it goes to Sammy Awad, as you can see. Um, Sammy has done uh, some really great work. He's made a tremendous improvement and, um, and you know, had to sit with joy all year playing viola. Um, but uh, Sammy uh, is... is has a really bright future in orchestra and I'm really glad that uh, he's here and uh, uh, working with us. So Sammy and concert, another award from concert orchestra is most improved Amanda Weiss. Amanda uh, plays cello. Um, she's always working hard. She's always paying attention. She's really concentrating and I'm really proud of her. She's improved so much in terms of her technique and, and stuff on the cello. So congrats to Amanda. Next award is uh, another most improved award for Philharmonia. This this girl has just really kicked it uh, up a notch this year. Her bow arms working even like it's all these all these really nice things have happened. And so, congrats to Layla G. Um, 
I'm proud of you and uh, congrats on your most improved award. Uh, another uh, uh, most improved award um, goes to a girl who uh, was kind of shy, but took the uh, All-State audition this year and um, has been taking private lessons and just making tremendous progress. So um, congrats to uh, size free Tangri Lala. Uh, awesome job and keep going. Uh, it's really, your work is really appreciated. Um, in Symphonia, um, one of our violists um, has made some incredible improvement this year and that award goes to Ryan Evans. Thank you for all your work. Thanks for um, carrying that viola section. Um, really, it's really amazing what you've done. Uh, in Symphonia on Violin, another most improved award goes to Leah Condi. Leah uh, has all, is always practicing before school, always wants to know what she can do to get better. And um, just like, it's awesome, just awesome. So um, congrats to Leah and um, on, on all her work. Um, most improved award for Symphony, Michelle Liu. Michelle, uh, again, very non, no, no nonsense, but holy cow, she's working hard and has done a great job on viola. So congrats to Michelle. Uh, most improved award for Chamber, Violet Newhart. Um, really uh, a tremendous amount of progress and um, really, really proud of you and all that you're doing. So congrats, Violet. Um, the Impact Award. Impact Award is an award that goes, oops, oh, Sammy wants to get in. He just won an award. Sammy, you just missed your award. I go back. He just joined us. So Sammy, you got most improved award. So congrats to Sammy. <laughs> he just came in. So I wanted to tell him. Um, and... Okay, Impact Award is not who hits the ground hardest or who drops the base. Um, but uh, the Impact Award is someone who makes an impact on a class. And they may not be always, sometimes they are the top player, but they not, may not be always the top player. But it's someone who um, carries carries a group um, and brings a lot to the group. So the person um, in Concert Orchestra, it goes to Aiden, Aiden uh, Caravo 6. Uh, and thank you, Aiden, for your work. Awesome job. And in Philharmonia, that award goes to Sung Woo Seo. Um, doing a great job uh, leading the first violin section this year and um, works hard and focuses and uh, we appreciate your work, Sung Woo. In um, Symphonia, this guy moved in here this year um, from California and um, uh, I I'm really, really happy that he was, that he was able to join us um, on cello and uh, he was just kind of tearing it up and uh, he's, he's really on fire. So, uh, Impact Award goes to Advik. So congrats, Advik. Next, uh, Impact Award uh, for Symphony goes to Henry. Uh, Henry has uh, worked really hard, and um, especially on measure 18 of the uh, Mendelssohn. But uh, congrats to Henry making an impact, helping lead that, uh, that base section. And along with Henry, uh, the other Impact Award in Symphony goes to Eisen. Um, Eisen has done some incredible work as well. Um, just carrying that bass section, you know, um, it's it's bass time. All the basses are really happy. <laughs> All right. And in Chamber, the Impact Award goes to Joy. You know, I stuck Joy this year with uh, cello parts a lot, and those aren't easy to play. Um, especially that Mendelssohn one, and um, she tore it up. And not only did she um, do that in class, she was uh, working with the marching band and um, doing all kinds of great things. Um, I'm not sure if you heard about Joy's most recent accomplishment, but she was featured uh, in um, the Downbeat magazine uh, as a future prospect uh, on, on the bass, and she's going to be studying uh, uh, bass guitar and upright bass and music yeah, big celebrity. So um, congrats to Joy on that, and thanks for all your work. We're definitely going to miss you. Okay, so the next award is called the Esprit de Corps Award, 
and the esprit de corps award goes to someone who um, makes a big impact as far as the the uh, the um, aura of class, the um, how we feel about things, just bringing good spirit. And so um, in concert orchestra, the esprit de corps goes to Ashley Franklin, always smiling um, and, and enjoys playing a cello. But thank you, Ashley, for bringing that spirit to concert orchestra. Second period, um, uh, this is the second year, I believe, that Peyton has won this award, maybe the third, um, goes to Peyton Tenabar. Um, Peyton uh, just has something about her. She has a witty sense of humor and uh, just brings a lot to the class. So thank you, Peyton, for doing that. In, um, in Symphonia uh, this year, we had one bass player, Audrey, freshman, and she tore it up and she just brings a good spirit with her and um, a, a will to want to do awesome things in, um, in orchestra. So Audrey, thank you so much for, for that and congrats on your award. Um, let's see, uh, Esprit de Corps Award in Symphony, Daniel Wilson. Uh, Daniel, thank you so much um, for just bringing your your love of playing and um, your kind kind uh, personality to our class. It's awesome, and we're glad that we uh, we won you a couple of years ago. It's been great having you. And then in um, chamber orchestra, the Esprit de Corps goes to Joseph Yu. Joseph, um, you're always laughing. You're always bringing joy to a lot of people. So thank you so much for for your work. Um, and that. And uh, I have a couple service awards. Um, these service awards uh, go to people who have just gone above and beyond. Um, and this one goes to Natalie. She's always thinking about what's next in orchestra and what needs to be done and how it can be better. And she made some improvements this year. And she's also made some improvements for next year because um, her and the leadership team went through and looked at the leadership uh, positions and decided that some things should be changed around or renamed or retitled. And so um, thank you, Natalie, for all your work. I can't, I can't say enough um, about, about that, but uh, it's, it's amazing. And sec and, and next also uh, the service award goes to Ashley and obviously they're the, the yin and the yang of orchestra um, organization. So congrats to Ashley and Natalie. You guys are awesome. You're great managers too. So um, I really appreciate all the work that you've done. And I forgot to mention, um, I do have, for all, for all the um, uh, leadership uh, officers, I do have a little mini trophy with your name on it and your, and your position. So that you'll get those as well. But, um, and if you're a senior, I will have these for you on Saturday, along with your senior awards, which I'm not going to show you. It's going to be a, a, a surprise. Um, but um, yes, so. Um, those are all the awards, and actually, um, I think I might have one more, but I gotta, I gotta pull it out. I think I forgot. I didn't print it to this PDF. I think I messed up. So I, I will have to announce that in just a second. All right. So those are our uh, director special awards, and um, then I have uh, I made an extra special award, and I'm calling it Teleschool Greatness. Um, because there are some people who went above and beyond during teleschool and um, some people, you know, went below and beyond as well and didn't really do a lot. Um, some people did what they were supposed to. Um, and I know it was a very challenging time, challenging situation. So um, everybody's different. And um, I've been very, very uh, kind as far as, um, you know, my grading and the requirements, because I know that everybody's in a different situation, you know, um, some, some, people are sick, some people have lost their jobs, some people are just, it's just a, a, a time that's not easy. And so, um, but the people that I'm about to announce um, took advantage of the time and um, made great use of it for orchestra. So I wanted to, um, to uh, recognize a few people. Um, first, Amanda Weiss. Amanda uh, is in concert orchestra and Amanda um, worked really hard, I could tell, uh, to learn the Millennium piece and, um, you know, uh, do her recordings. And, um, and and it's challenging. I know that piece was really challenging. And there were some people uh, in our younger orchestras that just said, I'm not doing that. And and uh, they didn't do any recordings. But um, uh, 
I appreciate all the work. Um, and then we have three seniors who didn't have to record stuff for Millennium, but um, decided to do it. And also, um, they all also recorded solos too um, that I needed because Millennium is a full orchestra piece. And we had, I thought I was, I thought I would be able to get uh, a full orchestra of recordings, but um, you know, uh, I, I always try to bite off too much, I think, and I did in that case. So I converted some of the wind parts that were really exposed to um, to string parts and assigned those as solos for some seniors. And we had some underclassmen volunteer to do it. So, uh, but the seniors went above and beyond uh, while the, a lot of other seniors uh, were just chilling and studying for their AP exams and being graduates. Um, Charles C, Sarong and Vivia, thank you guys for recording those solos, even though you didn't have to do it. I really appreciate that. Um, so uh, we have senior superlatives and I'm gonna turn it over to Natalie. Um, I don't know if Natalie's able to share her screen. Are you able to do that, you think, Natalie? Hi, I think so. Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing mine and I'll, I'll let you figure it. Okay. First of all, can, can you hear me well? Yes, no? I can see it. Okay, so go ahead, yeah. Natalie, and then just, just say mm -hmm. next slide when you're ready. Okay, um, well, I'm presenting with Ashley too, so I don't know if she's in here or not. Yeah. Okay. Okay, she's okay. So, hi, we did senior superlatives, and um, here were the results after we did the voting. And we got, we didn't get as many votes as we thought we would, but that's okay, we worked with it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and start off. So next slide. Oh, sorry. You're good. Okay, so the first one was most likely to be on their phone during class. And so that was Anna. <laughs> next slide. Most likely to eat during class is Jenny. <laughs> most likely to forget their music or instrument, Joy. And I thought it was funny that it was Joy because I thought that meant like she would leave her base, but like you can't leave the base. I don't know, I thought that one was funny. <laughs> Next one is most likely to make locks with all of his hair. Is this a wrong? Uh, maybe. <laughs> I, I'm not losing it, it's just going gray. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> and best dad jokes is Dr. Laux, our favorite senior. Not great. And then most likely to play in a wedding quartet and mess up as the bride walks in. Again, Sir On. And then Ashley's going to do the next few. And most likely to cry while playing or listening to their own recording is Eileen. <laughs> and the cutest couple that ever was in symphony is Anna and Elijah. Aww. <laughs> and the cutest couple that ever was in chamber <laughs> is Jason Sir On. And best friends in class are Angelica and Dina. And the best stand partners in class are Eileen and Vivia. Yay. And most likely to make the most gains at the gym is Timmy Green. <laughs> That's funny. Oops, I gotta let uh, Dina in, hold on. Okay. Oh, she just missed her award. Okay. Then I'll pick it up from here. So mean, mean king and queen. We got Matthew and Ashley. Great. And this is my favorite slide. Most likely <laughs> to become a soccer mom. <laughs> we got Tessa, Dina, and Ashley. That is a riot. And then most like a freshman at heart is Elisa. Yay. <laughs> and then worst driver is Anna. <laughs> I can attest to this a little bit. <laughs> And the worst mic on Zoom, we got Jason. And the worst, the worst camera, too. So. Oof. <laughs> All right, most epic gamers, Matthew. This is great. And then Ashley is going to do the rest. An MVP, which stands for Mulia's Valuable Player, is Casey. That's awesome. And the most proficient with red sheets is also Casey. <laughs> <laughs> And most likely to flip their sleep schedule during quarantine were Halib and Jenny. That's funny. And most likely to survive a zombie apocalypse is Eliza. 
and most likely to get a midlife crisis sooner was a moog. <laughs> And most likely to have the best shower thoughts outside of the shower is Daniel. And most likely to name your baby oh God. X8812 was Elijah. <laughs> and biggest clown is Jason. No. And this is playful. This is playful. <laughs> All good fun. And the most, just the most was obviously Natalie. Aww. So there's your, there's your picture, guys. Um, you are amazing. Uh, and I can't say enough um, about how great of a senior class you've had. And, um, you know, start you guys all starting the same time that I started. Um, it's a very special class. And, uh, um, you know, we came in together and uh, we've been through a lot of different things. Um, you know, last year was... Uh, LGPE weirdness, and this year was this. That's what we're doing right now. <laughs> um, but and we had Midwest, and we had a lot of great. We had a lot of great things that we've been able to do together. Um, and I, I just wanted to say, uh, I'm going to stop sharing um, to to all the seniors. Um, thank you guys for all that you've done, and uh, it's been it's been challenging um, to not see you and do that. I hope I'll get to see you at. Um, at the uh, gra virtual graduation on Saturday. Um, I would like to give you your senior award there. Um, if you're not going to be there, I, I will find another way to get that to you. But um, I would love to see you guys all um, at the senior awards um, and uh, just be able to see your face one more time. Of course, when things are safe and back to normal, um, I would love to uh, be able to see you guys in person and chat with you and um, but uh, it's been it's been amazing uh, being able to work with you. And uh, my one of my most favorite things about being a teacher is uh, being able to keep up with you guys and uh, see what you're doing with your lives. And so keep in touch with me. And um, once uh, once you're done and graduated, I guess that's Saturday officially, um, you know, uh, that would be great to be able to stay in touch with you, social media or whatever. So um but thank you guys so much. And for everybody that's here tonight, um, we have 79 right now. Thank you so much for coming. And um, it is, uh, it's always my pleasure to be able to work with you. And um, I just have the greatest, it's not even a job. It's a, it's a passion. It's what I love to do. And um, just uh, always enjoy it. So um, you're going to see a video. It's going to premiere in two minutes now. Um, and I will put that back on. Um, but uh, I would love you to watch it on your own, not through uh, the Google Meet, because it never never looks good that way. Um, but I hope you enjoy. And then I will also make public uh, the senior speeches, which has been on my YouTube channel, but not public. Um, but I'll make that public too. And at the end of the Millennium video, there'll be like a little box you can click on to take you to senior speeches right away. Um, feel free to watch your senior speeches at your will and however you want, it's an hour and a half video. Um, but you can also, there's also links in the description that should let you, hopefully let you skip to the different times of each senior. So you can skip around and come back and watch different seniors do their speech. Um, it's, it's always my pleasure. I'll be in touch with you guys over the summer. Um, stay awesome. And um, it's a pleasure. It's always mine. Thank you guys so much. Love Hi, you. Dr. We love you, Dr. Louts. Have a good one, Dr. Laux. We love you, Dr. Laux. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Dr. Laux. Thank you.